I'm back to my Joy of Art journal today because I watched a video by Cece of Cece's Creations and she did something that I just thought was mind-bogglingly adorable. So I'm going to go, my goal is two experiments today. I want to see how I can use this paper again, which is not watercolor paper, but it did work quite well over here. I want to see how I can get some good dark background. That's step one. And I want to try it in various stages of rose to pink to reds, etc. So I've picked out my uh, Jane Davenport, my new set, and I see one, two, three good possibilities, and I have wet these down a bit. If they do not give me the depth that I'm looking for, then I have at hand my backup crew. I have some rose matter saved here. In this one, I have some Daniel Smith Permanent Violet and Quinn Fuchsia, which might work a treat. And in this one, I have my Daniel Smith Rose of Ultramarine, and maybe, maybe if I really need to darken but not overwhelm, I might use a little Moon Glow. Don't know. Hopefully, these three will do the job, but I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. I think I'll choose which I think is the darkest of Jane's shades in this box. And I'm going to just put a light dab of it over here so that I'll know what the colors are, and that looks kind of dark. And let's go with this one and see where I can see where I can go here. This this page has been very, very lightly dampened. want the paints to be very thick because that way any darkness that I can find will come from these original coats. Let's see what happens. Ah, not too much difference between that one and that one. Let's try some of that over here. And this one now. My goodness. Let's put this one up here. Let's use a little more of that one down here. Very good. A little bit more of the medium here. And this Quinn Fuchsia is calling me, so I'm going to put a little bit of this here. I think it might be just a bit juicy for me. And let's do that dark one again.
Well, I'm going to dry this and I'll be back and we'll go on with the ex grand experiment of the morning. <clears throat> well, quite dry on both sides. Not too, too much buckling, which makes me happy. But I've decided I want this section right in here to be even darker. So, I've gone from my Princeton stroke half inch to my Princeton Neptune number four because I want to pile on some more color. I'll start with the darkest over here. Yes. And then I'm going to darken even more. I'm going to work with a little rose matter. See if I can strengthen that. Oh, that's a little bit towards the red side, which is good. We like that but not quite dark enough to suit me. And some Grumbacher Maroon. Yes, Grumbacher. Only because, and that's a very nice, another dark red but it does, it does have a wonderful color that I really enjoy. And see if I can break some of those lines a little bit. And take up some bathtubs full of water here with a thirsty brush. Alrighty, now it's darker. I want to try a little rose of ultramarine. See if I can really get some of that down there. Oh yes. I do think I'm enjoying that little bit of violet. that line here. Actually, I'm liking a line. So, do I want to do anything darker right in this area? Let's see what we can do with the little moon glow added in here. Let's see if we can make that move the fun of watercolor to let it have a life of its own. And I think it's drying time again because when it is dry I want to put this on top of it and try a little bit of CC's magic with a handy wipe. 
be right back. All righty. Now, hypothetically, and I saw Cece do this, I promise, honest Indian, a baby wipe rubbed through the stencil should bleach out some of this back paint and give a lovely after effect. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. My, quite pretty, but I want to improve this area at the center of the flower a little bit. Yes, and now I thought just a tiny bit of this up here. Not too much here, just a touch. more. I'm sure as I redo this and you try it, you'll both get better at handling this. Basically, what we're doing is washing away watercolor pigment. I think I'll stop there, let this dry, and figure out what I'm going to do to play some more on this. But I'm certainly rather tickled and how this looks. Let me show you a close-up. It's rather natural looking. No hard edges. Hmm. All right, drying time and I want it to be thoroughly dried now. In fact, I'm going to leave those there and maybe add one more. What's worth doing is worth overdoing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. And I have to learn to control the amount of rubbing because I have to be honest, I was kind of holding my breath when I did this, but there is a distinct difference between this area, this area, these. I just absolutely love the thought that I have some more adventures ahead of me. I'll be back when this is bony dry. Well, as you can see, this 
experiment page has been a semi-success. I've outlined some of these uh, almost abstract rose patterns and the background designs with my Uniball Signo in white. And I've been mulling and dwelling and I'm thinking that I'm just going to put a very mild uh, outline on the edges of this and call it um, a learning experience, one that I certainly have more to learn from, but all in all, it is an interesting learning piece, and I'm just going to let it speak for itself. I'm going to use my Uniball uh, Signo number 207 now just to give this some uh, border. If you have enjoyed sharing in the adventure of today, please give me a thumbs up, share with a friend, leave a comment, and I do try to answer them. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. do it. These particular parts were quite a success. And I think, whoops, I missed one. Let me rectify that. Because you know, the art police can get a girl for that. There we go. Better now. Thank you. Bye now.